This year, Microsoft sent shockwaves through the community by finally allowing Windows 11 to be installed on hardware they once deemed incompatible, a move no one saw coming. It's a reminder that when it comes to Windows, you cannot have a crystal ball good enough. As we edge closer to the new year, we're standing at the crossroads of some of the biggest changes in Windows history. Imagine Windows evolving beyond just an operating system, a full-blown service where updates and features flow seamlessly. Or what about AI becoming the backbone of your PC, ushering in a new era of how you interact with everything from your desktop to your files? And let's not forget the cloud. It's creeping closer to the center of how you use Windows every day. Could we soon see an OS where most of the magic happens online? Or a future where quantum computing makes today's devices look like relics of a bygone era? Well, what I have done is look at all the trends, and in this video, I will share my top picks of things you should expect in the new year if you use a Windows computer. I believe you will find some of them very interesting. If you have different views, let me know using the comments and feel free to also drop your predictions. I'm curious to hear what paths you believe Windows will chart. Let's get started. No one deserves an award for predicting Microsoft will increase the ways it harvests your data going into the new year. But still, it's too obvious to omit from my list of predictions. Telemetry isn't new for Microsoft. It started as basic diagnostic data collection back in the Windows 7 days, grew quietly with Windows 8, and exploded with Windows 10, which introduced always-on data tracking that even power users struggled to disable. In Windows 11, it doubled down with tighter integrations into Microsoft services, like OneDrive and Edge, making telemetry feel less like a feature and more like the foundation of the OS. So why stop here? Microsoft's game plan is clear. The more data it collects, the better it can optimize its services, develop AI models, and create user-centric features, or so the pitch goes. However, there's another angle. Data is currency. Enhanced telemetry feeds into Microsoft's ad ecosystem, targeting users with precision, and strengthens its position in the cloud computing race by tailoring enterprise solutions. In 2025, we're likely to see telemetry expand into more subtle areas, like behavioral tracking tied to AI tools, automated diagnostics that suggest purchases instead of fixes, or even personalized cloud services based on how you use your device. And while Microsoft will emphasize transparency and choice, we've seen their opt-out often feels more like opt-around. The big question isn't just how much Microsoft collects, but whether you will draw the line or accept it as the price of convenience. I'm really curious, though. So please tell me, does increased telemetry bother you? Or are people getting paranoid over nothing? My next prediction is around Windows as a service and why it's reshaping Microsoft's roadmap. Think about this. Windows 10 is entering its final chapter. But Microsoft isn't just letting it go. They're offering extended security updates for a fee. If you're attached to the older OS, you'll now have to pay to keep it secure. It's a smart move for Microsoft, and it begs the question, how long before certain updates and features on Windows 11 come with a price tag? This approach fits naturally. Windows 11 hasn't been a universal hit. Many users have stayed skeptical. Instead of pushing out another OS that might divide opinions, Microsoft is focusing on building services within the Windows ecosystem. Think Copilot for AI tasks, Xbox Game Pass for gaming, and premium OneDrive enhancements. These aren't just features. They're gateways to recurring revenue. By 2025, it's not far-fetched to imagine the lines between free updates and paid enhancements blurring. A security patch might stay free, but what about premium performance tweaks, exclusive AI tools, or early access to new capabilities? Microsoft is creating an environment where Windows evolves as a service you subscribe to, not a product you buy outright. For Microsoft, this means predictable revenue. For us, it's the promise of constant improvements at a cost. Love it or hate it. 2025 could be the year Windows as a service is fully realized. 
2025 might be the year Microsoft fully embraces the cloud, and in doing so, alienates a significant portion of its privacy-conscious user base. We're already seeing the groundwork. Windows 11 integrates deeply with OneDrive, storing user files in the cloud by default. Microsoft accounts are now required for many system features, and apps like Edge sync browsing data across devices seamlessly. But this could just be the beginning. Imagine a future where even your desktop environment is cloud-based, allowing you to pick up exactly where you left off on any device. What's next? Microsoft could tie more settings, apps, and core OS features to the cloud. Think AI-powered diagnostics, real-time app optimization, or entirely cloud-hosted user profiles. While this may streamline experiences and enable cutting-edge functionality, it comes at a cost. Your data increasingly resides on Microsoft servers. For privacy-focused users, that's a hard sell. The result? Open-source alternatives like Linux may see a surge in adoption. With no telemetry baked in and complete user control, Linux offers a haven for those prioritizing privacy over convenience. Distros like Linux Mint and Fedora are already gaining traction, and this trend could accelerate. If you fall into this category and are looking to switch to Linux, you may check out our Linux tier list, where we rate Linux distros by ease of switching from Windows. AI won't just enhance the Windows OS. It will become the OS. Now, predicting this for 2025 might be a stretch, but it's definitely where we're headed in a few years. And 2025 will build on the advancements we've seen in 2024 to draw us even closer to this reality. We've already seen the foundation with tools like Windows Copilot. It's not just a flashy assistant. It's a sign of deeper AI integration, stepping into roles like optimizing system performance, diagnosing issues, and even personalizing the user experience in real time. Beyond that, Microsoft's massive investment in AI research, including its partnership with OpenAI, means the OS is evolving into a hybrid of local and cloud-based intelligence. By 2025, we could see AI managing resources dynamically, allocating CPU, GPU, and memory based on what you're doing before you even realize you need it. It might also learn your work habits to preload apps or suggest time-saving shortcuts tailored just for you. Updates could become smarter, too, with AI determining which ones are most relevant for your specific device and usage patterns. So my prediction is that while AI might not fully become the OS just yet, 2025 will mark a turning point where it becomes indispensable, setting the stage for a Windows experience that feels more like a personal assistant than a static tool. The shift to ARM-only Windows PCs is no longer a question of if, it's a question of when. Microsoft's growing investment in ARM architecture is already evident in devices like the Surface Pro X and its custom SQ processors. Add to that the significant performance and power efficiency gains that ARM offers over x86, and the direction becomes clear. By 2025, we could see Windows move decisively toward ARM-only hardware. The benefits are undeniable. Extended battery life, instant on capabilities, and tighter integration between hardware and software, much like what Apple has achieved with its M series chips. However, the consequences will ripple across the ecosystem. Legacy applications that rely on x86 will either need to be recompiled or abandoned, creating friction for businesses and power users relying on older software. On the flip side, this shift should catalyze innovation. ARM's architecture is more energy efficient and scalable, paving the way for lighter, cooler, and more portable devices. But it's also a gamble. If Microsoft can't deliver seamless emulation for x86 apps or if developers lag in creating native ARM versions, the transition could alienate a significant portion of the user base. So my prediction is while ARM-only Windows PCs may not dominate in 2025, the groundwork will be solidly laid. Expect Microsoft to push harder for this transition, betting that the long-term benefits outweigh the short-term challenges. With Windows 11, 
We've already seen Microsoft tighten hardware requirements, notably with TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot, forcing many users to upgrade or remain stuck on older versions. But this trend is set to continue and intensify by 2025. Microsoft's push towards a more secure, reliable, and performance-optimized OS means that the hardware will need to meet higher standards to ensure compatibility with new features and security patches. The increasing reliance on TPM, along with the integration of secure hardware, could mean that older systems, especially those built pre-2020, may no longer receive critical updates or even be able to run newer versions of Windows. We may see features like virtualization, full disk encryption, and cloud-connected security tools become mandatory, with hardware that doesn't support these technologies quickly becoming obsolete. Additionally, as ARM and specialized processors gain traction, users with traditional x86 systems may find themselves on the outside looking in. So I'm predicting that by the end of 2025, Microsoft will likely make certain hardware capabilities mandatory for critical updates, and while this will improve performance and security, it may lead to user frustration and forced upgrades. AI-driven content filtering is poised to become a critical feature in Windows by 2025. While the average user might see it as a simple spam filter or malware detector, the technology behind it is far more complex. Powered by machine learning, AI will analyze not only traditional threats, but also contextual factors such as user behavior, language patterns, and even emotional tone in emails, messages, or documents. And this isn't just about blocking obvious threats. Advanced AI systems can make real-time decisions based on a wealth of data, identifying subtle risks like phishing attacks, misinformation, or even content that could be deemed inappropriate based on the context of the user's environment. This goes far beyond simple keyword matching and into behavioral analysis. So here is my prediction. By 2025, Windows could integrate AI content filtering at an OS level, giving you both enhanced protection and a level of control that many may not even realize they've lost. My last prediction is subscription-based gaming. This is already a central focus for Microsoft, and by 2025, Windows users will feel its full impact. Services like Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Cloud Gaming are already available on Windows, but the evolution will go much further. With Windows being the primary platform for Xbox Cloud Gaming, the operating system will increasingly become the gateway to gaming on any device, whether it's a laptop, desktop, or even a low-powered tablet. What's often overlooked is how deeply integrated these services are with Microsoft's broader ecosystem, particularly Windows 11. With tight integration into the OS itself, Microsoft is turning Windows into not just an operating system, but a subscription service hub for gamers. Expect Windows to become more aligned with Xbox's ecosystem, where your subscription unlocks access to both PC and console games, with no need for standalone purchases. The move from game ownership to streaming will feel even more natural on Windows, which is already optimized for cloud-based services, thanks to Azure's global infrastructure. But the shift also means Windows users will be facing a future where owning games is no longer the norm. The proliferation of live service games, constant content updates, and the growing reliance on cloud streaming will raise questions about the future of local storage and offline play. The convenience of access will be tempting, but the loss of control over what you own and how you play could push some users away. The prediction? By 2025, Windows will be the epicenter of subscription-based gaming, with Microsoft leveraging the operating system to fully integrate gaming into its subscription models, making it harder for users to escape the growing trend of pay-to-play rather than buy-to-own. I started by saying no one has a crystal ball. So predicting these things are not always as easy as they seem. You might want to bookmark this video and revisit in a year's time. If you have agreed with any of these predictions, be sure to like the video. You may also make your disagreement known in the comments section. And just before we go, make sure you check out my curated collection of unique and practical gifts that you and your friends will love.
Whether it's the ultra-comfortable migraine relief cap, the stylish PCB design coasters, or the versatile mini electric precision screwdriver set, there's something for everyone. You'll find links to these and more in the description below. Just a heads up, these are affiliate links. So if you decide to make a purchase, it helps support the channel with a small commission at no extra cost to you. Till the next video, stay safe.